Hey Sea Dragons, I'm Mr. Horner. For today's art video, we're going to learn about pattern. What does pattern mean? Well, I'm wearing a pattern right now on my shirt. It has things that repeat. It has small brown lines that repeat, big brown lines that repeat, and also blue lines. So these repeating colors and lines that go down and lines that go across over and over make a pattern. A pattern is just something that repeats. Next, we're going to talk about why do we see patterns all over the place and how can we make our own patterns? Let's get started. Patterns are anything that repeats. So these could be pictures, it could be shapes, it might be lines or colors. Let's look at some examples. This king snake has a pattern. The pattern on the snake goes red, black, white, black, red, black, white, black, red, black, white, black. And that continues the same pattern through the whole snake. It doesn't change. It's just the same colors and the same order every time. There's lots of animals that have pattern. And people saw this a long time ago and started to copy patterns into their art. One example is this. This is from about 60,000 years ago, one of the earliest patterns ever found. And this was scratched into an ostrich shell. It has long lines that go across and then line, 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 line going the other way down. So this is a pattern with very simple lines. We also see lots of patterns on buildings. Buildings that are made out of bricks have brick, brick, brick over and over. And there's these parts in between that are gray lines. So it's all the same shape and the same color and then the same kinds of lines that repeat uh, in the same places. The bricks that we saw are a really simple building pattern, but they can get a lot more complicated, like this mosque in Iran. Some mosques around the world are really famous for their uh, beautiful and intricate patterns. So we can see in this one, there's blue and green and yellow that repeat through all the different paintings here. There's also flowers shown and writing shown, and those repeat throughout. And we see up at the top, there's the kind of yellow lemon or leaf shapes. Those might be representing like leaves on a tree. We also have in the middle, the paintings and windows. It goes painting window, painting window, painting window. And I think that might represent night and day where the light shines through, that's the daytime, where it's painted, that's dark, that's nighttime and those repeat over and over, day and night, just like how we live. The blue is a really a favorite color in Islamic art, and I read that it represents the flowing and cooling water of paradise in the afterlife. This, this kind of Islamic art with all these patterns is so inspiring to me because it really makes you think about how everything in the universe repeats and how we find our purpose through thinking about what to do with our days. We saw how patterns are in nature, in animals, in our clothes, and in the buildings around us. I bet you could even find a pattern around you right now without getting up from your seat. But next, we're gonna start drawing and making our own patterns. To practice making patterns, we're gonna draw a picture frame. Normally, a picture frame is built around an artwork like this. It's not really drawn, it's more sculpted, but we're going to draw one on our paper and then you'll get to draw whatever you want inside for the artwork. A picture frame makes an artwork feel finished and it makes it look more special. Lots of picture frames have patterns. This one has all these dots going around there. You can feel them. It also has inside here, there's star, ribbon, star, ribbon going all the way around there. So there's lots of different patterns in here and our frame that we're going to draw will also have lots of patterns. We're going to draw our pattern around all the edges, going all the way around, do a few different patterns to make a frame. Then you'll get to finish it with whatever you want to draw in the middle. To start with, you could do any shape you want. Uh, you could do little pictures going around. I'm going to do a letter from my name. I'm going to do an H for Horner and I'm going to repeat that going around the whole paper. And 
I'm making them kind of big so that it doesn't take too long. We did one letter that repeats. Now let's try one line that repeats. You could do rainbow over and over, or maybe up, down, up, down, up, down. I'll show you the up, down, zigzag one. Goes like this. Up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, and then you keep going. It's kind of cool that any way you turn it, it's really the same. I'm spinning my paper so that it's uh, easier for me to draw on the, each side. And I'm also trying to make everything the same size. Each of the up downs needs to be the same size with each other, and all of my letters are the same size with each other. Each time you start a new pattern, just try to make that pattern all the same. Now you've seen one repeating shape or letter, one repeating kind of line. Let's do something a little bit trickier. We're going to do uh, a pattern where we have one thing, then another thing, then the first thing again. So we'll go one, two, one, two, one, two. I'm going to do line, circle, line, circle, line, circle, and keep going all the way around. Our frame gets a little more exciting with each pattern that we add. I want you to think up your own patterns of repeating shapes and lines that you can do all around your frame. And you might do more than three. I think I'm going to add some to this because I don't like the big white spaces in between, but that's just me. Then I'm going to do a picture in the middle and color it all in. I'll show you when I'm done. All right, I finished my fancy frame and my picture in the middle. You get to draw whatever you want in the middle. I'm leaving it up to you. I'm really excited to see what you all choose. Around the edges, you can make up any patterns you want. Just make it special, color it all in, and when you're done, please post your picture to Seesaw and tell me about your work. I want to hear uh, if you could describe your patterns that you chose to make, which ones you liked the best, and tell me about what you drew in the middle. Can't wait to hear your voices and see your work. See you all later.